In this video, we are going to talk about what's new in VX Elements 8.0. Now, VX Elements is the standard software that runs all of the Creoform 3D scanners uh, and other accessories like the Mac Shot. And what's nice is no matter what 3D scanner you own of uh, Creoform, uh, you use the same software. Uh, different options will be turned on and off uh, as you select different scanners to use. Uh, but many of our customers have multiple scanners. They may have a MetraScan and a HandyScan or a Handy Probe, And the interface is the same. Uh, just like I said, when they turn on what particular product they're using, they will see different things. So we're going to walk through just some of the new stuff uh, in this new version that was just released in June of 2020. Uh, starting out with just some basic things. Um, of course, lots of bug fixes. Uh, and you can go in the online help and see that. And for all uh, the uh, new stuff, um, you can see that as well just by coming in here and going to what's new. And there is a list of everything. Uh, we're going to cover some of this, certainly not all of it, uh, but in VX Elements as well as some of the other uh, modules and then some of the bug fixes. So you can see it here all online. So first off, one of the things they've improved is working with 4K resolution monitors. Uh, in the past, there were some issues with some of the menus and things. And now in this new version, it's fully compatible with 4K uh, resolution and monitors. Uh, second of all, there's a new perspective view. Uh, so if you go here, there's this display tab. And you hear, now you have use perspective uh, for camera projections. And, you know, some people like that. Some people don't. I'll zoom in. It'll make it more pronounced. But... Um, we'll turn that on and off so you can see uh, the view changes. If you're used to rendering software and stuff, this is quite common. But things that are closer to, the, to you here on the screen appear bigger. So that's totally up to you if you want to use that. Some people like it, some people don't. Uh, another nice new thing is wherever, I'll put this here, wherever you click. So if I have my mouse here and I click, that becomes the rotation center. So you see here uh, versus here. Uh, that's kind of nice too. And I'm using the left mouse click. Now, something that's not new that a lot of people don't know about is if you go in the options tab here, um, one of the options is the 3D navigation mode. Uh, and that lets you pick um, what software you also use with it. So for example, if you use SolidWorks or Polyworks or Geomagic Design X or Wrap, um, you can actually click one of these and then the mouse clicks for rotate, pan, uh, zoom, things like that will, will work the same way as those, uh, those products do. So some people like that, um, you know, so that's just something you may or may not know about. So uh, those are a couple of things, um, uh, just more on the kind of display side of things. Um, so moving on, one of the, the big changes now is in the optimization mode. Now, this uh, new finalize uh, button here is available with the uh, GoScan Spark, the HandyScan Black, and now coming with the new MetraScan Black. Um, and that's a little different than the uh, older scanners where you just would hit stop scan. Um, now you have a second step to do a finalize. And you would come down here in this optimization mode and you would have to click all these different uh, options that you have here. Well, now what they've done is they've set some defaults. Now, if you still want to control all of this stuff, you can click custom and you can control all of this. Um, but there's uh, standard mesh enhancement. And as I click these express, it's going to, it's going to preset certain things. So let's walk through what those different options are. Okay, so if you take a look here, and this is available in the help if you want to go look at it, but you have your standard mesh enhancement file size and express. Um, and you have different options here. All the different options over here are here. And this just tells you what each one does. So standard is kind of the typical way people do it. So for example, low noise reduction, um, smoothing boundaries off, sharpen edges off, auto decimate, um, uh, not set. Uh, mesh enhancement is going to do more of this stuff. Uh, and keep in mind, the more of these things you turn on, the longer it takes to finalize, okay? So mesh enhancement is going to give you, um, you know, basically a nicer, smoother mesh and better edges, but it will take more time. 
file size is optimized to give you a smaller file size. So you can kind of see here each one of these little pictures. And then Express is to do it as quick as possible. You just want to get it out. You can see a lot of this stuff is turned off. Um, it's basically just doing the basic um, uh, volumetric to optimize, optimize and then filling the position targets. And there's a description down here of each one. So this just lets you preset it. You know, most of the time people use standard, but, um, you know, if you want to use some of these others, you just got to click the button. You don't necessarily have to go through and make all the settings yourself. So that's that's a nice enhancement. OK, next, let's talk specifically about some enhancements um, to each one of the scanners. Uh, starting with the HandyScan Black, there is a improvements to the single line mode. Um, that's going to come in a way of a firmware upgrade, so you don't really have to do anything when you load the new software. It'll load the firmware, um, and that'll just make the single line mode work better. For the GoScan Spark, uh, there are some improvements to the texture positioning and a new uh, way to compute and acquire points uh, that have been improved. Um, now, moving along to the MetraScan, there's a couple of really nice improvements we're going to walk through here as well. All right, so the first new feature for the MetraScan, and this will be available on the current generation of the MetraScan, as well as the new MetraScan Black that is just coming out, and that is called Dynamic Environment Compensation. Uh, basically, that's a long word for no warm-up time. So what you're going to be able to do now is take your calibration bar. Now you're still going to calibrate your system, but you can basically turn it on, do your calibration if need be, and then put that bar uh, in the field of view so that the, you know, the normal field of view that the C-Track can see, and you can immediately begin scanning. And what it's going to do is continuously look at that bar, and if there's any, you know, uh, temperature changes or things, it is going to continuously and automatically uh, update or compensate, okay? So you can move the C-Track around, you just have to make sure you keep that bar uh, in the, you know, in the, uh, in the field of view of the, of the C-Track. So this is a really nice feature. Now the new MetraScans will come with this holder to hold it in place, but you can buy, uh, you can buy this holder or you can come up with your own, just, you know, be careful uh, that's a carbon fiber bar. You want to hold it in a way that it's not going to get damaged. But again, as long as it can see that, you can immediately start scanning. All right, next up is the new auto detect algorithm for the MetraScan. And this has to do with when you're acquiring targets using dynamic referencing. And again, this will work on the current generation of the MetraScan as well as the new black MetraScan. And this basically allows you now to dynamically pick up the targets so you don't have to tell it to detect targets, pick the targets, hit stop, move it, do it again. As you see here, he's just moving it and it's just dynamically picking up all the targets. So this is a nice time saver, especially in larger parts, getting around sharp corners. You just turn it on, you collect all the targets and then you hit stop and then you can start doing your scanning. All right, so one last thing with the MetraScan is now you have the ability to do what's called calibrate all. Uh, normally you have to calibrate the C-Track, then you tell it to calibrate the uh, scan head, and if you're using the probe, you got to do that. This will just basically prompt you through all of those things um, automatically. So it's just a, it makes things more efficient and just a nice time saver. So that wraps up the major enhancements to the new VX Elements 8.0. Uh, it is currently available, so if you are on maintenance, uh, you can go to the Koreaform website and download it. Also, um, you know, you under options here, under online services, um, if you've put your login in, um, you can check for new versions automatically. So it should prompt you. So that's nice. Then you don't even have to worry about it. It's going to auto update it for you. So that wraps up what's new in VX Elements 8.0.